Whether you are getting your fry from a pet shop or have a female molly fish that is ready to give birth, it is important to ensure that you have the right setup for your molly fry as soon as they arrive. You may opt to use a nursery tank or a breeder trap, but whatever you choose your fry should have a safe, sheltered space to grow until they reach a reasonable size. By equipping your fry with a safe environment, caring for them with regular feedings and water changes, and acclimating them into your aquarium when they are large enough to handle other fish, you can help ensure the long-term safety and health of your new baby fish. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Fish and More. As you know today's topic is how to grow molly fry quickly and healthy. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video. This helps me grow my channel and will support me find a large enough tank. Look for a tank between 5 and 20 gallons to raise your fry. If you intend to keep the mother molly in with the fry, have multiple broods going into the same tank, or if you have a large brood, opt for a larger tank. Generally, for broods without their mother, a 10-gallon tank will be sufficient. Set up filtration. Filtration is important in any tank, but especially for your fry. Set up a simple foam filter or other appropriate filtration for the size of your tank. If you do not use a foam or mesh covered filter, find an attachment or fitting from your local aquarium store to make the tank fry safe. Add plants to your tank. You may use artificial plants or live plants, but it is important to plant your tank before the fry arrive. This provides cover for the fry in their early days, and acts similar to a breeding trap. Heat the tank. Since mollies are tropical fish, they are going to need to be in water that approximates a tropical climate. Keep your water between 72 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit 23 to 28 C using an aquarium heater. Find a breeding trap. If you truly cannot equip a breeding tank, a mesh breeding trap may be a reasonable alternative. You can buy one of these mesh boxes meant to protect small fish from your local aquarium store or pet shop. Hang it along the side of your regular aquarium. Move the mother. If your fry will come from a live bearer, move the mother before she gives birth. You will know when a female molly is preparing to give birth by watching the swell of her abdomen as well as by observing the spots near her anal fin, which will darken as the delivery date nears. Bring your molly fry home. If you are getting your fry from a store, breeder, or another molly fish enthusiast, be prepared to pick them up quickly after birth. Make sure the fry are sealed in a plastic bag with warm water and room enough for the fry to move around. Acclimate the fry. If you are getting your fry from elsewhere, set aside around 15 minutes to acclimate your fry. Allow the bag holding the fry to float in your nursery tank for at least 15 minutes in order to slowly bring the water temperature in the bag up to the temperature in the tank. Let the fry out. Once the set period has passed, introduce the fry to the tank by gently opening the plastic bag and allowing the fry to swim out. Do not dump the bag into the water, and do not squeeze the fry to get them out. If you are using a breeding trap, you may want to hold the trap right at the surface of the water and gently allow the water to flow out of the plastic bag in order to prevent any fry from escaping into the larger aquarium. Watch the fry. Observe the fry after they are introduced into the nursery aquarium. Make sure they are all moving and hiding. If any of the fry did not survive birth or the journey home, use a net to quickly remove them from the aquarium. Feed the fry. Right after the fry are born or are introduced into the tank, feed them. Your local aquarium shop might have food made especially for fry. Otherwise, you can use baby brine shrimp or a high-quality flake food that is ground into a powder. Change the water. Even with a filter, you want to change the water regularly to ensure the health of your fry. Try to use some water from your standard aquarium when you change out the fry's water in order to acclimate them to their eventual home. Watch their growth. It will take around 1 to 2 months for your fry to grow large enough to be introduced into your standard aquarium. The fry should be larger than the mouths of an adult molly fish. Find a breeding trap. Use a breeder trap to acclimate your fry a few at a time to your normal tank. 
Purchase a breeding trap if you do not have one already, and set it up on the side of the tank to which you want to move the fry. Transfer the fry. Transfer the fry a few at a time to the breeding trap. If your two tanks are located next to one another, you may be able to do this using a standard aquarium net. If the tanks are further apart, you may want to place the fry in a large bowl or bucket filled with water from the nursery aquarium to carry them to their new tank. Aquarium, open it, and allow the fish to swim out. Repeat the process. Continue on with this process until all of your fry are in your aquarium. Allow each fry time to acclimate before letting them loose in your regular tank. Watch the fry carefully for the first couple days after they move tanks to ensure their health and safety.